Guess what Big Lou's doing today? Woo! Don't get me, don't get me. Woo! Oh yeah, mud bugs, baby. Mud bugs. Hey, I'm Big Lou, Big Lou Barbecue, and other things I want to do. Let me tell you what I've got going on for you. Yeah, it's mid-June, but we're gonna boil up some crawfish. Uh, the crawfish season is winding down, and it'll probably be over with by 4th of July. But uh, usually late in the season, sometime after Mother's Day, we boil up a sack just for us, not friends coming over or whatever. But today my son's got two friends over and his two small cousins are coming. So that's five kids under the age of 12, 10 to 12 or so. And um, my teenage daughter, my wife and I, but we're doing a 35 pound sack. I was told not to spice it up too, too much for a couple of the kids that are gonna be with us. Uh, you used to be able to, um, when you boil a crawfish, you had to buy the salt. You'd buy these little spice packs, um, with little, like little boiling bag, burlap it used to be, and then like plastic nylon stuff. And you had to put liquid boil in there and all. Nowadays, last 20 years or so, you can just get the whole complete stuff in this powder. I've already opened the powder just a little bit to show you what it looks like on the inside there. You see, it's just a powder, all right? But it's very, very spicy. You don't want to just eat it. You don't want to sprinkle it on your food. We're going to be putting it in a big 100-quart uh, stock pot, all right? But basically, all you need is stuff in here, plus some lemons, some onions, and some other things. I'll show you that, too. All right, let me show you how I wash the crawfish, and then I'll show you what we're going to put in there, and we're going to get these uh, mud bugs to boil in now. Big Lou barbecue. All right, got a 35-pound sack of crawfish. It's about as big as they had and about as big as they come. And what we're gonna do is just, ooh, those are some good sized bugs right there. Look at that claw on that one. Just gonna cut these loose and dump them into this cooler. Oh, come here, you. Get in there. Now, what we're doing in this cooler is we're trying to wash them real well. Get in there. They all out? All right, how big are these bugs here? Some pretty nice size. Look at that one right there. <laughs> they're cold, so it's alive, but he's cold. Now, they, they're, they're, they're been in the, they've been in the cooler, so they kind of calmed down. All right, Hannah, give me the, let me get the hose here. Yeah. And what we're gonna do is just cutting stuff off of them. Got some last year from the place. And they were a lot, a lot cleaner. So we're just gonna fill them up here, get them all. Uh, okay. Off. Um, once you got it filled up with water, I let the water go. Then I let nasty, dirty water out of there, and I'm gonna rinse them at least one more time, maybe two more times, uh, before we put them in the pot. All right, this water's just about to come up to a boil. You can probably hear the children in the uh, background playing in the pool, having fun. That's what they need to do on a good uh, summer afternoon, right? And we just dump this whole thing in there, just like that. See how easy that is? Not counting salt boxes and ratios and all that, just, oh, I hit the tripod. I apologize. Just dump the whole thing in there, all right, for a full sack of crawfish. No mess and no gas. You can use whatever brand you want. All right, what I've got in there is corn and red potatoes. We start boiling that first, all right? We start boiling it first. Over here, we've got um, half a dozen onions, and you just cut them in half. You wash them real well, but you cut them in half, but you leave the root in and the uh, stem end on so that the onions will stay together better. All right, you wash the uh, garlic and you throw them in whole. I've got uh, half a dozen lemons cut in half. All right, and then uh, we've got some uh, whole mushrooms, okay? Well, the stem fell off of that one, but I've got a whole pack of whole white mushrooms in there too, all been washed and rinsed, and we're gonna dump those in on top of the crawfish. Corn and potatoes start first. All right, so, corn and potatoes have actually gone a little over in that seven or 10 minutes. Because the kids were down at the pond fishing. I couldn't get a catfish off the line. I had to go help them. Yeah. I'll let that drain. Take them over here. We're going to pour the cat, uh, crawfish in them. All right. Time to get the crawfish in here. Yeah. 
don't like it. That pot's hot. Oh, got some escapees. Just get them in there. Come here, mate. I think they're gonna escape, but I'm not gonna let them. All right. I put all my lemons and onions and stuff right there on top. That is, uh, all right, well, I dropped the basket back in. Look like that. Just dropped the whole thing in. And I'm waiting for him to come up. I'm sorry the camera wasn't on, but hey, I'm doing this whole show myself, all right? Uh, wife and daughter have gone to pick up the cousin. Son and his friends are down at the pond fishing, and I'm up here doing this by myself. So I miss pushing the button, forgive me. But anyway, we just dropped it in the water. Now, when they start to come up red, I'm gonna stir them a little bit. Guys, it's hot. It's hot and I'm sweating, I'm sorry. Look at that, this is a masa bat for stirring masa for tamales. I bought it in Mexico for, uh, I forgot how, like 60 pesos. It's like $3.80, less than four bucks. Wonderful little uh, crawfish bat too, all right? That's what I'm stirring this with. Uh, love it, absolutely love it. And it was cheap. Just gotta go to Yucatan to get one. All right, so the crawfish should be getting red now. I'm gonna stir it up, stir all these peppers, the lemons, the mushrooms, everything up. Put the lid on it. Bring it back to a boil. All right, when it comes back to a boil, I'm gonna boil it about five minutes and I'm gonna turn it off and let it soak for 25 to 30. All right, it's been boiling now. A good five minutes. It's time to cut the gas off. I got one of these old-fashioned regulators. And I was going the wrong way. Just like that. And we're gonna wait 30 minutes and let them just sit there and soak. I'm gonna give them a stir, cover them back up. All right, now this is an important step. Once they've been soaking about 20 to 25 minutes, maybe even 30, you want to pull them out and make sure they're good and spicy. If they're not, let them soak a little bit more, all right? So it's time to get this little guy in my mouth. Get in my belly. Whoo! Ah. Should have added more spice, but we got kids, you know? Like that. Pinch the tail. Suck the head, that's what you gotta do. I know that sounds gross, but that's what you gotta do. All right, now, in my old age, I've gotten picky and I pull the vein out. I used to not worry about that when I was young, but I do now. I'm gonna let them soak a little bit more. Let them soak a little bit more. All right, it's been a few minutes. Um, I added a little more seasoning and I turned the heat back up, brought it to a boil, brought it back down. I'm not used to seasoning crawfish with just one pack of a crawfish boil. I usually add liquid stuff. I was told to tame it down because we got some kids that do not want them too spicy. So that's better. That's better than it was. I'd still want, you know when they say two packs, one pack for per sack, I usually use two. So. It's a little tame, but I think people eating it are going to enjoy it. Mm, Got to do that. Try the claws out. Much better than it was before. Tolerable. Enjoyable even. Still, not all that spicy. But that's what I was told to do today. All right, Big Lou barbecue. All right, he's been soaking. Time to pull them out. I'm 
they are heavy. Heavy, 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 heavy. They look good. They look good. Ooh. Let them sit just like that. All right, I'm gonna bring the camera around and show you what they look like in here. All right, they look like that right there. We're gonna dump right, them in the cooler. Right, crawfish ball. We're using a wrench. Just a. Drop them into a cooler just like that. Ooh. Get them in here. A lot of seasonings. A lot of stuff. Oh well. Lost a potato. The crawfish will eat. There's another one right here. Where? Put them in there. It's fine. It still tastes good. Ooh. Get those in there. Waldo. Loves potatoes. Alright. Yeah. Turn it off.